Hello guys, happy Halloween. So today I'm just going to show you how to overclock the AMD FX 850. But before I get to that, you must have an aftermarket cooler. Like at least my one, like the like I'm using the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo and this is indeed a great CPU cooler cause my temperature does not go over 30 degrees celsius when my PC is idle and gaming stays in between 40 to 45 degree well it depends how long are you gaming so but, um, before we get to overlocking I'm just gonna show you uh, what more processor is running at right now and I'm gonna use CPU-Z for that it's loading up let's see the temperature too and there we go as you can see my core speed is at 4600.68 MHz and there you go my temperature like 56 degrees celsius the CPU team and the package is at 42 degrees celsius so so there are basically several ways to overclock this processor but I only know three methods so I'm just going to share those three methods with you guys. So the first method is only for ASOC users or ASOC 990FX users. So you can use a utility, utility called Fstream. I will leave the download link in the description. So and I'm load it then install it. So after install it, when you run it, mm, there we go. You can see this. So just after that, go to the. You have to go to the overclocking section. And after going to the overclocking section, just pause the video, see my settings, put those values in, exactly like my one. Just hit apply, and you were good to go um, I think you might need to restart it because I never used the software so I don't even know if you need to restart it or not now the second method you can use a program called overdrive and overdrive is basically for AMD so it doesn't matter what motherboard do you have so let's open overdrive if you're gonna see some warning just press ok it's nothing open up open up open up so after opening just then go to the clock slash voltage section over here so uh, you have to do the same thing again just put my values in and hit apply that's it so now it's time for the final and the best method that i would recommend and here we are the bios as you can see my processor speed is at 4600 megahertz but now before you overclock you have to turn off some settings so that you don't you don't face any issues with overclocking after that so just head over to advanced then cpu configuration and just disable these settings cool and quiet cpu enhanced halt core 6 and yeah then leave the recycle virtual machine enabled now let's head back to OC Tweaker and just put everything like my one like the same situation again so you have to just see my settings carefully put my settings in and that's it just press save and exit now that you have overclocked you have to check that everything is running fine like you're not getting any crashes or blue screens so for that you have to do some stability testing and uh, you can do that either using AMD overdrive or Prime95 and if you use Prime95 then you have to in also install another program called speed fan this is basically another program to see temperatures of your hardware it also shows the course and that's why you need this program so after you start the overdrive 
I'm just gonna go to the stability test and set for like at least 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, let me do it. And just hit start. Just press OK. And you will see, like at the right, you can see that the yellow highlighted yellow marks. That's it active. That means your processor is running right now. If any course fails, it will say that it's not active. It will be red. So that means your overclock is not stable. So now let me show you how to use the Prime 95. So just open the Prime 95 and then open Speed Fan because you need that to use it to see the course. And there we go. I'll leave the link in the description for Speed Fan. So as you can see, the green color is over there. Like there are eight of them. So that means I have eight cores. So that's why it's showing eight. So if, if any core fails, it will be full white, so you will understand if it's one is crashing or not. So in Prime 95, just put default and press OK. So it will start automatically stability testing. So as you can see, all the whole CPU is being used 100%. So wait at least for 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And if any core fails, or if you can, if you get into blue screen, that means you have crashes. So you need to do the overclock again. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you, and if it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Until then, bye bye.